Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where I'm going to take my glasses off for a little bit. This is part two or three, depending on what order these go in. Me trying to get people to do something different when it comes to their poetry. If you didn't see the first video in this little series here, look right here for the cliche video. Today, we're gonna be talking about using a wall of vague metaphor to hide the fact that you have nothing to write about or to hide what you're writing about so much that nobody knows what the fuck you're trying to say, okay? This is a huge pet peeve of mine. As you can see, I really nailed that opening right there. I just wanna challenge you guys, okay? Like, read your stuff and think to yourself, like, am I, like, going hard on this metaphor thing to the point where this doesn't fucking say anything? Because, like, if you're not going to fucking say anything, why fucking talk in the first place? Why write anything in the first place? Why fucking do anything if you're not going to fucking say anything? Oh, my God. Seriously, a writer who has nothing to say or who won't say anything is like a fucking abstinent porn star. What's the fucking point? Why? 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 Okay? It's like a, an athlete that doesn't like to sweat. As you can see, in me just getting pissed off right there and saying a couple things, I used some metaphors that um, I've never used before and I've never heard before. Okay? That is how you use metaphor. Okay? I illustrated a point to you in a way that was so absurd that you're like, oh, I understand exactly what he's talking about now. A writer that doesn't say anything is like an abstinent porn star. That is how you do that, okay? Now, if I were to say a writer that doesn't say anything is like babbling brook. No, because I almost tried to make that work. Okay, so let me say it like this. A writer that doesn't say anything is like a starry night without a star. That's eh, it's getting kind of it's getting kind of fluffy. I don't know. You guys, I hope you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. When I okay, here, let's do this. When I say this in the comments below, you leave a metaphor. Okay, to fix this. A writer with nothing to say is like blank. You go. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think that's like. And here's the deal. When you're writing, you're just writing metaphor after metaphor after metaphor after metaphor. What you end up doing, and I've talked about this a ton, what you end up doing is making a wall of text that says so many different things it's actually saying nothing at all. And when you are saying nothing at all, why are you fucking writing anything? Okay? So, a lot of times when people sit down because I want to write. I feel like writing right now. They sit down to write. When you sit down to write and you're like, I feel like writing, but you don't have anything to write about... This is the danger of prompts, just having like daily writing prompts, because you don't have anything to talk about. And so you just start writing off of a prompt. Now, what I want you to do for like the next week, do a writing prompt every day. And instead of just writing that writing prompt, okay, and just like going, oh, dry hay or whatever, like I'm going to use that as a poem or as a prompt. And then you start writing a poem about what dry hay is like. That's not what I'm asking you to do now. What I'm asking you to do is now write a poem about how dry hay is like you. How are you that dry hay? How does dry hay make you feel? Okay? And write that. Like, write about you. If you have a hard time writing about anything 
meaningful or purposeful or anything like that, start looking at yourself and start writing about you. And then you could branch out from there and write about whatever the fuck you want. Like dry grass, okay? If, if I say write a poem about dry grass and then you write a poem telling me how dry grass is, that, that's, that's not interesting. I already know what dry grass is. I gave you the prompt, okay? But if you tell me how dry grass makes you feel or how you feel like your soul is like dry, dead grass. That's interesting. If you tell me how um, dry grass makes you think of the city you live in because of how dead you see the people around you, that's fucking interesting, okay? But if you're gonna fucking write a poem about dry grass being dry and grass, that's not interesting. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see where this is going? Now, after you write this, okay, and you hand this to somebody and that person reads it, ask them what that's about. What do they think that's about? And if they say, uh, dry grass, you fucked up. If they say how sad you are or how happy you are, then you're on the right track. But just stringing together a bunch of lines of metaphor that don't have a beginning or an end, and it's just metaphor, 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 metaphor. That's, that's not a poem. That's a list of metaphors, if that makes any sense. I just feel like people, when they approach poetry they feel like as long as they say and this like this and this as this and stuff like that that oh that makes that a poem and like that's fine the problem is too if you've heard those metaphors like we're going back with cliches now if you've heard those metaphors before like this is definitely ai poetry Okay, come up with metaphors that you've never heard before. And honestly, maybe like I'm not a huge fan of this, but maybe like just have like a little notebook where when you come up with a metaphor just on the street, dog shit like ice cream, whatever. Like I don't give a shit what the fucking metaphor is. Just write them down so you have them that you could use later if metaphors are a hard thing for you to figure out. This is going to be really harsh and this is like tough love shit right here, but this is the thought I'm going to leave you with. The people who seem most confident as poets are usually the ones who can't fucking use metaphor to save their life and cliche the worst. And for some reason, they think that their skills with cliche and metaphor make them like amazing think less about your metaphors think less about your cliches and just fucking have something to say and if you don't have something to say go fucking live life please for the love of fucking god do something interesting and then fucking write about it okay please there might be another video in this series i haven't decided yet so if there is you will hear about it okay so keep buying my books. What the fuck is happening out now on my Etsy shop? Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.